Volunteers here at Project Chimps, and we are preparing the meal for the holiday feast for the chimps today. So we're going to be making today a chimp-friendly cornbread recipe, which is off recipe. Cornbread mix, coconut cream. Smells like it's ready to come out. It looks like it is too. Oh boy, look at that. Those chimps are gonna love it. <laughs> We're so grateful to Toe Turkey for donating the, the roast today for the, the chimps. Now we're going to make a snack bag for each of the chips to go along with their side dishes. Carrots, peas, banana chips, pumpkin seeds, raisins, and corn. They will love this Thanksgiving trail mix. We're gonna put this cranberry sauce in, in the in the bucket, and uh, we're gonna let the caregivers open it uh, tomorrow as they uh, as they pass out the food. Hi, I'm Amber. This is Catherine. We're gonna be making the chip-friendly pumpkin pie for the Thanksgiving feast. So for the crust for these pies, you guys would probably use like a graham cracker crust, but we're gonna make a crust out of chow dust, you might be asking yourself what chow dust is, and the chimps every day get chip chow, and it's got all the stuff they need in it to be healthy chimps, and this is the leftover, so we're going to use it for pie crust with applesauce. It actually looks a lot like graham cracker crust. It does look a lot like <laughs> graham cracker crust. It's going to be beautiful. Add a little cinnamon. Maybe some nutmeg. That'll be delicious. Chips like spices just like we do. We do, they do. It adds variety. The more different things that we can do for the chimps, the better. We're just taking this little um, mixture for the crust and we're just putting it in the bottom of the um, ice cube trays because we're gonna put the next layer, which will be the pumpkin pie filling before we freeze it. Okay, so we have all of our crust done in their little mold and now it's time to make the filling. We're gonna use um, pumpkin puree, coconut milk, full fat coconut milk, right? Yeah, and then we're gonna put some spices in there and then top it with some pumpkin seeds and some cloves. Perfect. And another little bit of nutmeg again. Yum. And now we're just filling them up. And now that we have them all made, we're gonna put them in the freezer and let them chill overnight so we can pop them out and give them this frosty treat. Today we are making some lovely turkey heads for our chimpanzees to use for their Thanksgiving celebration. What these are are paper mache using food grade wrapping paper, some honey, some water, and some flour for the paper mache substance. We went ahead and used some balloons as our paper mache forms. And then once 
the whole head is dry, we would pop the balloon, take it out, stuff it with some sunflower seeds and cereal, put a little bit of paper at the bottom again to keep most of the sunflower seeds and cereal from falling out. We use some peanut butter and some construction paper to make little turkey faces. We've got some more construction paper for the tails. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use a little bit of peanut butter or a lot of peanut butter. They'll enjoy it either way. And using some blunted toothpicks, we will affix the tail to our turkey. And there you have a fun little surprise box sort of paper mache turkey for our chimpanzees to forage through and destroy. Okay, so since we don't serve the chimps on plates, we're gonna use this seaweed as a plate and they can eat it when they're done. We're gonna start with our tofurkey. Uh, we roasted these previously and so now we're just gonna cut them into smaller pieces. So we're just gonna have one of these wedges over here. And when we get these inside, we'll open up the cranberry sauce and put a dollop of that on there just to finish it off. So we're gonna deliver our Thanksgiving feast to Patrick's group in Cedar Tree Villa.